Okay, this is NCRT solutions chapter number 4 quadratic equations exercise 4.2 question number 6 the problem is a cottage industry produces a certain number of pottery articles in a day it was observed on a particular day that cost of production of each article in rupees was three more than twice the number of articles produced on that day if the total cost of production on that day was rupees 90, find the number of articles produced and cost of each article. Okay, let's proceed with the solution. Let cost of each article equal to rupees x. Now it's given to us that the cost of production that the total cost of production on one particular day was rupees 90. So cost of production on particular day on any random particular day was was rupees 90. So if the cost of one article is rupees x and the total cost of production was rupees 90 so we can say that total number of articles produced on that day on that particular day was 90 divided by x. So I divided total cost of production with the cost of one article. So we got total number of articles produced on that particular day. So now check the condition given. It was observed that on a particular day that cost of production of each article, cost of production of each article is x, is three more than twice the number of articles produced. Twice the number of articles produced is 2 times 90 divided by x and it's given that the cost of production of one article is 3 more than twice the articles produced on that day. So I will add 3 more to make them equal. So now we will make quadratic equation from this. This is equal to 180 divided by x plus 3. And this is equal to x. Equal to x is the LCM here on the right hand side, and I get 180 plus 3x here. And now I cross multiply, I get x square is equal to 180 plus 3x. And now I can take these terms to the left hand side. I can minus 3x minus 180 is equal to 0. Now I can solve this equation by the method of factorization. And to solve any particular equation by the method of factorization, I need to check product of these two terms. It's equal to x squared times 180. It's equal to 180x square. Now I can split this middle term in such a way that the product of those two terms would be equal to minus 180x square. So I will have to check different combinations. Okay, let's suppose I start from here. Minus 20x plus 17x is equal to minus 3x, but product of these two terms is equal to minus 340x square but I need 180x square so in in the same way we will proceed I will check minus 19x plus 16x the product of those two terms would not be minus 180x square so I will keep moving till I reach minus 15x plus 12x it's equal to minus 3x and the product of these two terms is equal to minus 180x square so I can split this minus 3x into minus 15x plus 3x minus 180 equal to 0. Now I can take x common from these two terms. I get x minus 15 in the brackets and I can take 3 common. Sorry, it's it should be 12 here. Minus 15x plus 12x. Now I can take 12 common from these two terms. I get x minus 15 here equal to 0. 
Now you can take x minus 15 common from these two terms. And I get x plus 12 equal to 0 here. Now equating both of these terms equal to 0, I get x equal to 15. And equating this term equal to 0, I get x equal to minus 12. Now these are the values of x I'm getting. But I can ignore this minus 12. Why I, I would ignore? Because cost cannot be in negative. Therefore, x is equal to just 15. And it is cost of production of one article. Cost of article, one article is equal to is 15. And we also need to find total number of articles produced on that day. They're asked for the number of articles produced and the cost of each article. We got the cost of one article, but we need to find the total number of articles produced on one particular day. So, total number of articles produced is equal to 90 divided by x and it's equal to 90 divided by 15 it is equal to 6 because 15 times 6 is equal to 90 so that's it in the next video I'll be covering chapter number 4 quadratic equations exercise 4.3 question number 1 see you guys